You know, the heat is on uh, Ohio's post office, of course. Today, 160,000 ballots hit the mail in Hamilton County alone. Voters should be getting them within the next five days. But with Indiana counties reporting delays, there is concern. Reporter Larry Seward is in Warren County, where election staff engineered solutions that you need to see. Warren County already has more votes than 2016. We saw more than 600 people roll through in person before noon at the same time Almost 45,000 voters are waiting for ballots in the mail and they're getting a new tool to help them make sure their vote counts. They built a public online tracker. Election staff in Warren County shares details most Ohio counties make you call to get. I think getting it to them and them knowing when it's going to arrive is really important. On time absentee ballot delivery. People are yelling at us because, you know, they're not getting it back. Delayed weeks in parts of southeast Indiana is breeding questions around Ohio's just open polls. Even though we've met with the post office, we've discussed possibilities and impossibilities, and they've assured us that the vote, the ballots would get there in a timely manner. I still worry that we will get a lot of ballots after that deadline. Hamilton County mailed 160,000 ballots. Warren County sent just a fraction of that. But after tossing 329 mail-in votes during April's primary, when most showed up too late, Director Brian Sleeth ordered extra tracking. All 88 Ohio counties let voters see when ballots leave and return, but Sleeth paid the post office to send details on every outgoing ballot that his staff shares. I don't know very many other counties doing that. We got a, a barcode on every one of them, and we had our IT department build us a module where a voter can type in their name and see where their when their ballot arrived at the processing center and when it's expected in a mailbox. Thank you for voting, sir. It's no cure-all, but if done early enough, there should be plenty of time to cure ballot problems. A couple more things from election officers. Voters should not wait much longer if you're going to request an absentee ballot. Those have to be postmarked by November 2nd or in a drop box by election day. Voters who've requested a mail-in ballot who have not got them five days from now, you need to check your Board of Elections website to make sure it's been processed, then call them to see the next steps. In Warren County, Larry Seward, WCPL 9 News.